Well, hello and welcome. Today, we are going to be looking at how you can set up a free RGB animated camera border for your live stream. The best thing about this is it is so incredibly easy. You don't need to use Photoshop. You don't need any editing software. You don't need to do any animation. Absolutely nothing. You're not going to believe how easy this is. So let's get to it. I just want to say a massive thank you to Theo Wu. That is the creator of this amazing tool. So thank you for making this so easy. So I've put the link to this tool down in the description. So you're going to need to go and look down there and grab that to be able to use this tool. But I'm going to run through setting it up and how you can add this to your live stream. Now this is going to work on any streaming software. So OBS, Streamlabs, doesn't matter. As long as you can bring in a browser source, it's going to work. So brilliant so let's click and take a look so this is the tool in its entirety it's very very simple but i am going to go through a few examples with you to maybe give you some ideas of how you could use this i did say that this could be used as a camera border now i actually use this in other areas of my stream overlay as well so there's lots and lots of ways in which you can use this but let's go ahead and have a go at creating just a simple camera border so if you're not quite sure what look you want to go for this does nicely give you a few examples to maybe give you some inspiration. So that's a really, really nice touch with this tool. The first one here we can see has just generated this lovely yellow, pink and orange border. If that's not your thing, maybe you want to try the next one across. We can see this is a little bit squarer on the corners here and it's a bit more like my one. Pinks and blues, my faves. Um, the next one across is kind of a, a rainbow, but it's a circle. Absolutely fantastic. So you don't just have to have a square. Now, if you're unfamiliar with how you would then shape your camera to fit this, I did already do a tutorial telling you exactly how to do that. So if that's something you wanna do, go check it out. I will leave the links below as always. So let's have a look at the next one across. This one is quite cool. You can see it's kind of got the, the square border there, but we've rounded off the edges so it actually adds a little bit of interest, makes it a bit more unusual. We have another circle one here. And lastly, we have kind of a chunky wide one here. And this is the one that inspired me to use this tool to add bits of detail into my overlay. So for now, we'll just set that back. If we come down here at the bottom, you can see we have the choice here of do we want to start with a rectangle? Maybe we like these colors, but in fact, we just want it to be round. So we can go and change that to a circle here. So to start off, I'm just going to work with the rectangle here and using the, the first example. And we're just going to run through the options so we can see how much we can tweak this. So we can change the width here. See, I can extend that out. We can also change the height here as you've come to X. Expect. If we want to make the border a little bit thicker, exactly as you'd expect, we can make that super, super thick or we can make it super, super thin. So really we're just trying to tie in with whatever theme that you currently have or whatever theme you're working towards. Let's make that a little bit thicker here just so we can see what we're doing and just note this border radius. So this is what's going to give you that curved edge on there, which is quite nice. And we can bring that right up if you want a really rounded edge or we can straighten it out if we want it to be nice and square there. Now below here, we have some options regarding the colors. So at the moment you can see we just have a two-tone color. You might be thinking, well, my layout is black and red. How do I change this? And it's going to be changing these options down here. So let's have a look at the fade to white. So that's choosing a pink going to a white. This is doing a fade to black. So it's a pink going to a black. And then we have a rainbow option at the end there, which I think is really quite cool. Probably one of my favorites actually. Um, but let's say that we want this to be red to black, for example. So you're thinking, how on earth do we make that pink turn red? And what you need to change is the hue and the hue offset. So just play around with these two sliders until you get the color match that you're looking for. So let's start with the hue. If we pull this down, we can see it's gone blue and green and yellow. And then we kind of get red at the end. It's not quite the red that you're looking for. Just play around with the brightness until it is. So you can see there that is definitely looking more like a, a deep red with the black. That's kind of what I had in mind there. The duration is going to be how fast the animation moves. So at the moment it's set to five. We want it to be really, really fast. We can take that way down. That's a little bit crazy. Oh, we can bring it up and that is really subtle and slow. 
Now, once you're happy with whatever you've done here and you're ready to say, yep, that's my border, I want to put it over into my OBS or Stream Elements, Streamlabs, whatever you're using, you can just click this button here, which is get new URL. And what that will do is it will give you a link that you can use as a browser source in say OBS. That's what we're gonna be using today. So I will show you setting that up. I am gonna change this a little bit and just make it a wee bit nicer because I actually think that's just a little bit um, too thick there. So let's make it nice and thin, a little bit more like I would probably actually use. Of course, this is very, very different to my color scheme, but we'll go with it. So because I've made a change there, what I need to do is put some get new URL. So what that's gonna do is if we look here up at the top, you can see that all of the variables that I have set are included within the address. So every time we make a change to this, this address at the top is gonna to change. So keep that in mind if you're planning on creating lots of different shapes here to layer up on your stream. So let's go ahead. We're gonna right click on the link here and we're gonna copy that and we're gonna head over into OBS. Okay, so in OBS, we need to come down here to the bottom left and in here, we are gonna add the option that says browser. Should be pretty familiar with this by now. If you're brand new to OBS, or you're wanting to learn more about OBS, again, I've done a tutorial on that one as well, so do check it out. We'll give it a name, we will call it Red Cam Border, and choose OK. And now within here, what we want to do is replace the URL here, just Control and V, pop it in there. So when we're setting the width and the height, don't skip this step, it is quite important. You need to make sure that it is bigger than the size that was on the previous screen. So, you know, ours was set to 400 by 225. Just make sure that it's bigger than that. Um, typically what I do is I just set it to my canvas size on here. And in this case, it is 1920 by 1080. You don't need to change anything else in here, just hit okay. And you can see what that's done now is we have our border here. It's not quite where we want it, so we can just move that around. If this kind of bothers you, having all this extra space just here, just go in. You can right click on here and you can go to properties and you can make a change to these so they're maybe not so big. Or we can use the cropping tip, which is to hover over these little nubbins on the corners there, hold alt on the keyboard, and we can crop that in like so just so it's a little bit neater there, just like that. So let's maybe pop this where we would have it on a live stream. Let's make it a little bit bigger there. So the next thing we need to do is to go and add a video capture device or our camera. So let's just do cam and choose okay. I'm gonna pick a camera here from the list. Let's grab that one and let's resize it so that it's gonna fit into our little border here. Of course, we need to make sure that we switch the order over. So grab your red cam border, drag it over the top, and then we can align this one in here. I'm gonna use my Alt and Crop tool yet again. Honestly, this is the best shortcut ever. And that's it. Nice, hey? If we want to be able to move these around together, another quick little tip for you, just select both of these by holding shift on the keyboard, clicking them both, right click here, and then you can choose the option to group. Just call it whatever you want in there, we can call it group, and now I can move them both together. Super, super handy. So let's go one step further. Let's add something else, which we want our game to sit into the middle of. So we're gonna actually use this also to create a really simple and interesting overlay. So let's come back into here. And what I wanna do this time is I want a border that is actually going to surround my game. And so because my game would likely be in 1080p, around about that size, I can actually set the width and the height to be just that. So let's do 1920 by 1080 just like that you can see it's done it but it's, it's huge down here at the bottom so if we're happy with that we just need to hit that get new url down there and that's going to update the link so that we now have this shape rather than the previous shape so right click just as before copy we're going to go back into obs exactly the same as before add in our browser source we will call this one game border and okay Paste that one in. Remember, we need to make this a little bit bigger to allow for the padding around the edge. So you may have a little bit of trial and error there. Just make sure that everything that you're looking at here fits within the canvas. For me, 3000 and 2000 was fine. And here we are, we can see our border is now showing here. 
Now, I want to set this up so that my game will appear in there. So let me just crop this in so it's a little bit easier to mess around with. And my idea with this is that it's kind of gonna sit just within this other border. So it's it, they look like they're interlaced, which I think will be quite cool. If you don't want OBS to automatically kind of clip you to an edge when you're trying to reshape things hold control when you're moving things around and it will stop that kind of magnetic edge thing i find that's um quite helpful so i'm gonna sit that one there i want it to be obviously behind my camera so let's drop it behind our camera group here and so now we can see if i click away we've got this outline here with my camera kind of floating on top there. Keep in mind with this, you could then add extra effects on having drop shadows and so on. There's loads and loads of stuff, loads of ideas you could do here. This is just a little example to maybe give you a bit of inspiration. So let's go ahead and add our game in there and then we're just about done. So there's our game catcher. I'm gonna use an existing one, we'll pop that in. And just as before, we need to go and drop that down below our border. We're gonna this time shrink the whole thing in so that it fits nicely like so. And let's lock that one in. And to finish this off, I'm, I'm not a big fan of just the plain black background. So I'm just gonna add a quick little image into there. So we're just gonna choose image. Let's choose image again. Should really rename it. I have a nice red and black little image here. Let's go for this one. It's a little bit too big, so let's make it actually fit the screen a bit better, like that. And let's drop it into the background. What do we think? I quite like that for a red and a black background. It's it's, it's not really on my brand. Um, but just trying to show uh, something that looks quite different to what I normally use. And this might be something that you quite enjoy. And as you can see, that was so easy to set up. Didn't need to use any Photoshop any animation, nothing, simple. So that is it for today, a really, really simple one. Honestly, how much easier is all of that than having to create your own animations? Absolutely unbelievable. So again, a massive, massive thank you to Theo Wu for creating that tool. It is just absolutely fantastic and so easy to use. So if you enjoyed this video, found it useful, please remember to do all of those things that I love, 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 like, comment, subscribe, you know what to do, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.